Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be today. Um, I, I hope I'm uh, sharing the uh, correct screen um, and that you can hear me uh, just fine. Uh, my name is Mary Napolitano. I've been working as a product manager for our patient QA solutions for just over a year now. Okay, I have confirmation every, everything's a, a looking and sounding fine. So we'll go ahead and get started. So we here at Standard Imaging know that your time is precious, particularly during these challenging times. Standard Imaging is proud to be helping with your radiation calibration and independent quality assurance needs. It's your time, be precise. So let's go over a bit of housekeeping before we get started. Today's webinar will be recorded. Please enter questions at any time during the presentation in the GoToMeeting dialog box. I will answer all questions at the end of the presentation. Standard Imaging is based in Middleton, Wisconsin and founded in 1989. At Standard Imaging, we design and manufacture a full suite of QA products. So in general, there are many uh, different types of plan specific checks that are performed. One can perform a, a pre-treatment, most generally a uh, plan check using a calculation only uh, second check, uh, MU check, uh, detector array checks. Um, uh, we can use EPIDs uh, and log files, you know, many, many options. Uh, the QA can be during treatment, um, where, for example, um, we employ EPIDs and log files. Uh, one can determine some LINAC variation from the plan using log files, and EPIDs can capture other LINAC variations as well as patient-specific setup or anatomical changes. For an overview, end-to-end -end testing is, of course, important. So when considering the options, which types of patient-specific plan QA are best suited to your clinic? As a physicist, one wants to catch and allow for correction of minor workflow issues that can be corrected you know, as we go along, as well as major mistreatment errors with high risk that we need to always catch. Standard Imaging has a variety of products to help perform patient plan specific QA. And my goal today is to outline at a high level what sorts of discrepancies are being caught and what parts of the process are being checked by our various products. And so I am sure is, is one of our products. It provides a quick and easy basic second check calculation. Linac View is an automated log file based plan comparison software. And Adaptivo contains modules for pre treatment and during treatment QA, both integrating EPID images. Adaptivo also has an automated independent adaptive dose reconstruction model which module which incorporates use of the daily cone beam CT. The uh, SDVP, uh, Stereotactic Dose Verification Phantom, and Lucy are both allow for end-to-end -end testing. So as I go through the presentation, because I'm a visual person, um, I, I put together this workflow chart to keep track of the portions of the workflow touched by different plan specific patient QA solutions that we offer here at Standard Imaging. So, you know, just, just briefly, because uh, you'll see this slide over and over again, and I'll, I'll color code it uh, according to the uh, portions of the workflow that be, are being touched by the different products. But, you know, of course, we start with the commissioning data going into the treatment planning system, uh, both the LINAC and the CT, uh, if it's external beam, the patient setup, imaging, contouring, prescription, going into the, the treatment planning system, uh, some items we get out that we can, of course, compare to and use for QA. Uh, the treatment plan goes as well through the RNV system for uh, pre-treatment uh, deliveries where we can gather log files, EPID images, or have some standalone um, measurements or go on down and use the alignment systems on, on the LINAC. And of course there's QA uh, integrated there. Um, we can have the cone beam CT um, to use in our QA. And then of course, when the, the patient's actually on the couch, uh, 
some during treatment QA based on RT records, log files, EPID images, and some specialized uh, standalone measurements. So our first solution is I am sure, which is a very simple, quick second check software. Um, this software contains four modules. Um, the, the MU module is your basic hand calculation, assuming a, a single source uh, uh, model used for plans such as 3D conformal SRS cones um, um, and electrons. Um, the QA module is uh, more complex um, for plans such as BMAT and IMRT. Um, there's also the CyberKnife module and the Brachytherapy module. And so this has a, a, a more detailed model. And so advantages of I am sure are that it provides an independent calculation of a dose point for a wide variety of modalities, um, including brachytherapy, low dose rate and high dose rate, cyber knife, Linux from all the major vendors for all energies, both flattened and flattening filter free beams, as well as wedges and cones, electrons, and even mixed to photon electron plans. Um, so now where does this fit into the workflow? So I am sure provides this independent second check for your TPS dose as it has its own beam data and model generated for your LINAC. So, so that's going into I am sure. Um, of course, if it's a brachytherapy application, you have your TT43 consensus data going in, uh, CyberKnife, there's uh, you know, your uh, beam specific data going in as well. Um, the of course, you know, from your CT system, you have an independent uh, um, CT to relative electron density table going in. So that's another area that you're cross-checking. Um, the RT plan, MU and dose for specific calculation points are compared to those from your TPS. So you have your input from your TPS uh, in order to um, um, do the second check calculation. Uh, for your plan, you can choose to export from your record and verify system and or your TPS. And so you choose and you can see that QA is limited here, you know, to a small uh, portion of the workflow. So while these are all good and checks, what other additional solutions do we want to consider? So so next I'll, I'll go into Linac view. For a bit. It, it's a log file based system that extends your plan specific QA through LINAC delivery. So you export uh, to the LINAC um, and at the same time you're exporting to uh, LINAC view your, your RT plan information. Um, LINAC view has a system that listens automatically for the log files continuously in the background once it's installed and so it takes then this measured data and uh, attaches it automatically to the plan that you've exported uh, from your treatment planning system. Uh, and the log file contains such information as leaf and jaw positions, MU, gantry angle, collimator angle, and couch positions. These data can then be compared with the original plan via deviation and fluence map comparisons for leaf and jaw positions and uh, monitor units. So direct comparison is made from expected for gantry, collimator, and couch positions. So here we are determining um, how closely does the delivery match the plan. And it's, it's a quite direct comparison. And the software just runs in the background and provides audible alerts or email alerts based on customized failure and alert criteria. So, so it's a, a, a nice system. Um, and, and this solution carries uh, covers an additional portion of the workflow. You must be aware, though, that one must keep up with their machine QA. And there are cases during which Linac View will not catch all delivery errors. Things such as slipping motors and inaccurate leaf positioning sensors cannot be detected by Linac View. However, with frequent MLC calibration and regular machine QA, these gaps can be minimized. And there are many advantages to offset these limitations, such as the automated patient plan QA with minimal user intervention, um, 
The log file um, leaf positions and monitor units are um, a allow for a calculation of fluence, which can be compared um, to the, the patient uh, fluence from your RT plan. Um, a quick confirmation of uh, the RT plan delivery before the patient leaves the room and a record of correct treatment for all fractions. So our latest release even extends LINAC view compatibility from the traditional variant and ELECTA LINAX to include the ELECTA MR LINAC Unity, as well as the variant Halcyon, which will be available in very early 2021. And so this, the adaptive workflow is, uh, you know, more challenging because you may have a new plan every day. And if the patient's, you know, on the table being aligned and you have a new plan, um, you know, your pretreatment of the specific plan being delivered to the patient is not possible. So you can have confirmation um, um, right away um, before the patient even leaves the room of, of the delivery uh, comparison uh, versus expected plan um, fluence. So that, that's a good uh, advantage for LINAC view. Um, as, as well, there have been a number of publications recently that provide comparisons between log file based and physical phantom based pretreatment QA. The top one is uh, from this past year's uh, AAPM annual meeting, um, and it's, it's a poster presentation, and I have the, the link provided there. It's a really a nice poster. And then the, the second two are, have been published just this month in October in the Journal of, of Applied Clinical Medical Physics. And um, they give a lot of uh, specific um, data uh, comparisons. And I'll, I'll, I'll provide just a couple of quotes here, and, and you can certainly dig into the papers later. But uh, the log file solution is found to be, and I quote, very sensitive in detecting small delivery errors, unquote. Log file analysis, to, to quote from the third article, is quote, provides a robust and reliable QA method to reduce patient-specific QA measurement, provided that a comprehensive measurement-based machine QA program is in place, unquote. So these types of analysis programs provide end-to-end -end plan transfer as well as beam delivery checks. Oops. I did not intend to do that. Um, let me get my, I didn't intend to actually click that link. Sorry for that. Okay, I think we're back on track now. So where does LINAC view uh, fit? So as you can see, the QA touch points designated by the, the light green encompass a much larger portion of the entire workflow. And I hope I'm still displaying the, the, the proper screen. Um, the loop can even be completed for cases in which an issue is found by generating an RT plan that can be uh, fed back into your treatment planning system. So you can see a, a, a large range of the uh, treatment uh, delivery system is, is QA'd by LINAC view. So our next QA, patient QA solution complements the log file analysis and touches additional areas of the workflow to bring in patient specific and anatomical changes or set up errors. And this is Adaptivo and this has uh, modules for pretreatment, during treatment comparisons using the EPID, and then the third module provides for independent 3D adaptive uh, patient QA. The pretreatment module verifies plan transfer and delivery using an EPID measurement in air and verifies the RT plan by comparing to a calculated predicted image. The physicist receives automatic notification of the results based on preset criteria after plan delivery. 
The next module is similar to the pretreatment module, but the portal image is measured with the patient in place in order to verify patient setup consistency. This comparison is done using a gamma analysis based on the predicted exit image and the measured EPID image. Proper couch placement and selection can be verified, which is QA that is not possible using a log file only QA system. Next, I'll go briefly uh, through a little bit about the adaptive module. This module uses daily and cumulative um, dose color watch and DVH to compare the, to plan data. The DVH is automatically analyzed using preset Quantec limits and RTOG protocols. The system is fully automated such that Adaptivo uh, detects when a new treatment has been delivered and performs complete analysis. There's a clear and informative dashboard which shows alerts and deviations based on plan, daily, and cumulative metrics. And these notification based on user preference can be received via email or reviewed in the Adaptivo dashboard. So along with automated data collection, analysis, and notifications, uh, Adaptivo allows for verification of daily patient setup, anatomical changes, and delivery. The software also provides metrics to determine the appropriate time to replan and is an independent adaptive QA solution. And so Adaptivo um, covers you know, a different and uh, um, comprehensive set of uh, the patient QA workflow. You know, uh, from, from the beginning, uh, a gold beam, a data model, um, of course, EPID measurements to uh, set up um, your, um, your model for your uh, in vivo uh, measurements based on your EPID images, uh, you know, through the uh, treatment planning system. Uh, we have pre-treatment, uh, and then during treatment for the adaptive module, we utilize a cone beam CT. Uh, uh, during uh, treatment as well, we can uh, use the EPID images uh, as well as the RT records. And of course, there's always reporting. So um, next is uh, the, the Lucy Phantom. It's a, a gold standard used for end-to-end -end testing of your entire stereotractic treatment chain. Precision manufacturing allows the user to verify cumulative uncertainties of the treatment chain to within 0.1 millimeter accuracy. This is accomplished by using a variety of inserts with precisely known volumes, geometries, and distances for accurate measurements. I'm not going to go into any more details about Lucy um, other than to tell you some of the advantages um, um, and the advantages are numerous. Um, various inserts allow for verification of target and avoidance structures for the treatment planning system, along with testing, contouring, and volume accuracy for both manual and automated contouring. Image transfer accuracy can be tested, verification of TPS dosimetry through detector and or film direct measurements. One can also determine TPS limitations for small fields and uh, do verification of accessories uh, such as the couch modeling. In short, verification of the entire process. So for cases not involving brain lesions where, where one would use Lucy, standard imaging <clears throat> has the uh, uh, another end-to-end -end solution, which is called the Stereotactic Dose Verification Phantom, as a DVP for short. And similar to Lucy, this phantom has water equivalent and lung equivalent material slabs. Uh, it has a, a respiratory gating platform, which is just a, a simplified platform that independently controls the range of motion, of the respiratory cycles, the x rayed and A26, W2 scintillator, and x rayed and diodes, diodes sorry, are optimal and specific inserts are designed for using these detectors in the SDVP.
And just a few advantages here. It's versatile and compact, uh, 20 by 20 centimeters. And as seen here, there are four standard configurations um, for, for different applications. Um, Uh, there are embedded gold and lead fiducials within the phantoms as well for laser alignment lines to allow for orientation and positioning accuracy. Our chamber plug with gold marker is useful for small tumors. And in the various inserts, you'll notice components similar to those available in Lucy, such as a spot check CT densities and the target and avoidance shapes. Uh, these advantages, including verifying dose positioning accuracy, volumetric accuracy, inserts for verification of the CT density curves, dose accuracy in various materials, and I'm sure I'm missing a few. And so what, what does the, the, the workflow look like? Of course, these are end-to-end -end phantoms, and I've worked their, uh, grouped their workflow together. Uh, clearly, these phantoms cover multiple verification aspects um, you know, starting from the imaging system, uh, working um, clear down through to the the land delivery. Um, and of course, you know, comparing back to your treatment planning system where, where you've modeled the phantom as well, uh, uh, confirming dose and, and um, in the heterogeneous materials. So that, that concludes my high-level overview of the multiple patient plan QA-related solutions. If you've not done so, please type any questions that you may have into the GoToMeeting dialog box. For more details on any of these solutions, please feel free to reach out to me or your sales representative. And also, you can find additional webinars on our website at the address uh, shown here. And I'll go ahead and take a look and see if we have any questions. And I don't see any, um, but if, if you do have questions and would like to um, reach out to me directly, uh, please feel free and have a good afternoon. Thanks and have a good day.